a while ago I made some mallets from stabilized silver birch for the head and then in this case Wenge for the handle and I sold this one so I had to package it so I used some cardboard packaging I had and yeah, created a custom insert and a custom box show you how I created that uh, insert with my laser to create the 3D model for the mallet packaging I used OpenSCAD which um, allows you to program the model. First I defined the parameters of the head of the mallet. So that's uh, the diameter at the top and the bottom of it and the height. Then I did the same for the handle, which is, yeah, it's curved here, but it doesn't matter for the packaging. So it's the height and the diameter. And then some offsets just to move the handle because standard renders at the same height. So I move it up. Then I create a simple module to render the mallet, which uh, renders a cylinder for the mallet head using all those parameters. Then it renders a cylinder for the handle. And the translate moves the handle up also using those uh, offsets. So if we then uncomment this and we render the mallet module with a five, we get this. You can change all the settings on how many segments you want, but for me, this doesn't matter because this is just a rough representation so I can see how the mouth will end up looking in the box. For the box, it's even simpler. You can also create a module for that in case I have different sizes of mallets. And I simply rendered a cube, which of course is larger than the mallet itself, and then used some offsets in a translate to move it around and let's render the box itself around it there and as you can see I want the mallet sticking out a little bit once it's uh, cut out so the packaging will be almost twice as big as the insert or to cut out the mallet from that insert I use a difference and there we go and that is what the insert will look like. Now I don't want to make this solid, I want to make this uh, in layers. So for that we will use a different tool. First let's export this one. We hit F6 which is a rendering and then we can export it as an STL file which I already did here. The model I create in OpenSCAD I will use another free program which is Slicer for Fusion 360. So you have to import your insert model, rotate it around so we can see it. Input the size, the final product. Here you can scale it a bit, uniform scale, original scale, whatever you want. Then for our case, or for my case I should say, I want the interlocked slices. Now this looks a bit strange because it's going to slice this direction and that direction. So I want to change that. With this setting I can rotate this around. Let's see. This way. And you see the slices will automatically start moving. Let's move that to 90 degrees. It's already looking a lot better. Then you can play around with how many slices you want in two directions. I'll go for six here and three there. That should be more than enough. That's not that big and it's still enclosed in a box. This is just the insert. So that should hold it perfectly. See on the right that it's generating the templates that you need to cut. So you could cut them freehand or you could even 3D print them, but I'm going to laser them out. So here you can see the final result if you're using um, corrugated cardboard which I am and you can just download the plans you can choose to export them in PDF or DXF and I will use DXF since Lightburn can read that and import that directly next step in this process is to import our slices into Lightburn let's open this up so these are all the parts we need in this case it should 
work perfectly uh, on our machine. My machine is in Arturo Ferro 2, which has a cutting size of 390 millimeters by 390. Um, the problem I had was that my material wasn't that big, uh, so I um, selected a few parts and then moved them to different layers, like that, so that I could use small parts of materials, like that. And then you can just uh, toggle these in output. So uh, the other settings. I'm not going to show them because it all depends on which type of laser you have. 